That's looking a lot better. Welcome to Vice Grip Garage. Project Cadillac is nearing an end for now. And all that means is, can a guy ease it to town or stab it on the highway without the fear of it breaking down 59.6 times and look relatively decent doing it? I've got a few more things to wrap up today. New fuel tank, new fuel sending unit, gas gauge would be nice, hub capillators, work on the trunk a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how much time we'll have. We'll see. But let's get started. Bailey is working on the walls that are white. He's trying to bring them back around. They got pretty dirty from sitting outside for a couple years. And then whoever installed these must have had some dirty mitts. Whoops, really marked them up. These are the Vogue classic width white walls. They were pretty expensive, but I got a good deal on the Evil Bay because they were sitting around for a few years. Some of them must have ordered the wrong size or something, so I got them pretty cheap. I think they're normally a couple hundred bucks a tire or something like that, but they look a lot better than the mismatched stuff that I had on there before. I'm getting ready to drop this tank, and we're gonna be putting in this new tank here that I picked up. I've also got the sending unit for it that goes in. Doesn't fit quite perfect. Might leak a little, that's okay. At least we got the gauge. <whistles> Swinging in there. And the reason I'm doing that is we're getting tons of sediment up here in the fuel filter. I don't know how many times I've changed this out and it is just nasty. Now we could drop the tank and flush it. I've showed you guys how to do that with marbles and rocks and all sorts of stuff, but you gotta be willing to spend a couple days on that to get it right, and I don't have that time. So we're just gonna throw in a new tank. That should resolve that issue. Also replace the rubber soft lines back under here. I'll show you in a second. And pretty much the fuel system's gonna be new at that point with the exception of the fuel filter tray. The old bog jet was rebuilt even, so that makes it, I don't know, 2.37% more reliable, something like that. Give me a number, Bailey. Five. 5%, sure. Hey, that's looking pretty good. What's your process here? Uh, I spray this, and I wipe it with this, wipe this, and spray it. Purple power, a little bit of spray away. Seems to be pretty decent. He's using a green, Brillo pad, scrub pad, SOS pad, whatever, there's colors. We're trying to get into some fresh rubber, might have to get the SOS pads out, but they're looking a little better. 3.7 gallons in there, give or take, 0.126%. That's good. Oh, I see my ground to the Fuel sending unit snapped off, probably why that's not working. Glad I bought a new one, great. Anyway, it's easier when these are plumb full and they just come slamming down on your face. Or if you're in a driveway, they crush your rib cage until you can't breathe anymore while you're trying to dial your girlfriend or wife in the house to come rescue you. I almost said that like I've been there. Anywho, there's two bolts back here, these little strap relators. You just zing, 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 zing. And either of those nuts are gonna come off or you're gonna twist the buckle up here off in the trunk floor. And then you're gonna wrap some baling wire around this to hold it up. Either way, it's coming down. Up front, we've got a fuel send, a fuel return, and then we've got two ventilator lines that shoot out of this side. And basically, they just end up hooking together and making a weird, funky tail thing up there, I don't know, I'll just, this is going there and I'll show you. So those are those vent lines up there that snag down into the tank. And then up here is the two lines that go into the tank. And again, that's feed and return. The feed or the onion line is always the bigger one, of course. And there's those over there. 
But that's basically it on the front. These straps do come out if you take that little bolt up there out. But we're not going to take them out. We're just going to bend them and let them hang because we'll scoop the new tank in here. And then we just got these nuts right there to remove. I think I've already pre-soaked them several times. So hopefully this actually doesn't take that long to accomplish at all. Juice. A little more juice over here. Okay. Huh. Is Colin Ray still touring or what's what's going on there with him? I don't know. Oops. Ah. Oh, we might get this one. She's down. Smoking hot too. Okay, here we go now. Well, they both work. This is the part where you just let it hang suspended by the rubber lines up front and fill her neck back here. Would you quiet down? I'm trying to do something. There's a better look at the inlet and outlet to the fuel A, you know, bending right here against the fixture, which is horribly bad for it, so that's fine. And then that vent tube over there. So once we snag them off with the plier, I'm assuming Leighton, this is just gonna, you know, fall on my face. We might just let it go straight to the ground. We're not gonna reuse it again. Although I'll probably offer it up to a few friends that got Cadillacs and some time. We don't want to waste this tank. Well, the guy's arm scale. Oh, tendon just popped. Must be out of calibration. I think I had it certified in 2016. Nope, 15. Anyway, it turns out 3.7 gallons or whatever that was before earlier is more like 307 gallons. The second I unhooked the vent tube, BAM! Right in my front right tooth. So, I wedged in a four by four board and I think our best move is just gonna be the escape route. Unplug, shoot. I don't know, might wing it, maybe I'll try to catch it. I do also have a sliding disky tray that maybe, I don't, well, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not gonna plan anymore, I guess. Let's just do it. Maybe he's still selling VCRs at Walmart. Huh. I think the official term from wildfire is a tool tray, but I use it for everything. I don't know, how's that? Sure. Okay, get my plier ready. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's rotten, so that's good. Oh, spiders. Hey there, little feller. Okay, let's move you up here. <sighs> Onto the return line. That's really cracked. Pretty much doing nothing. So just bend, twist. <laughs> Getting lightheaded. Second gear. <laughs> Just needed more speed on it. Moving on to the filler line. Are you guys, are you still, are you still with me here? Or what's going on? I don't know, not the filler line. Fuel feed, what is this? That's a, it's a real easy one man job. Okay, well, now what? I don't know. I'm gonna drain a little bit of it before I attempt to move it. So I'm using my Revival modified tank, 6000 XL, and just bypassing this tank, using the pump off it though. And we'll throw it into this can and then I can run that through the lawnmowers or the tractor or something like that, but that just runs up to the tank basically. Just gonna throw a battery down next to it, plug it in and get this thing succulating. All right, contact. Oh, she's clicky clacking. Yeah. Fuel's coming out of the tank. We'll let that run until at least that thing's full. 
What do gallons weigh? Seven waffles, eight liters, 914 ounces, two wooden baths. I don't know. I, I mean, it adds up is what I'm saying. Sure. Whilst the fuel tank is draining back there, gonna snip in another filter quick. Up front here, I also took some air and blew back through the feed line. So if there's any sediment or junk in that line, it's not laying back there somewhere. This one is just shot, even when I roll it around. Look at the stuff staying in there. Hmm. This tank will fix that up though and prevent us from having to change these every 60, 70 miles. Now we'll change them every 90, maybe. That's cool. Well, it doesn't look like we're gaining much more. She's just spitting and spattering, so we'll call that good enough. Oh, well that means by the who, this is a five gallon jug, or not to the fill line. So it's probably about four gallons, which means the old arm scale might be in spec. I'll be dipped. Never lets me down. Yep. 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 Got this hefty old girl on the ground. Turns out there's still some fuel in it. And when you rock it around, it sounds like sand and rocks and stuff in there. And that's all that rust. And my hunch is the fuel pickup sock screen is plugged. Easy way to tell that your pickup screen might be plugged is when a guy jams his foot through the firewall and tries to crack on the four barrels. She just bog lights down. You don't get any power out of it. You're starving for fuel and that's because you're demanding more fuel that it can't deliver basically. And usually that starts back here in the tank, especially if you've got a clean filter on the front like I've got there. And that was the case for me several times. So I'm gonna pull this out quick just for giggles. I do have a new one, but I do need this hardware anyway and the gasket underneath of it. And we'll take a look at the screen. Oh yeah. Real bad shape. This is in horrible shape. And the sock actually split when I tried to get it out, but you can see that's clearly just plug solid. This doesn't even spin or rotate. Normally these, there it goes. Normally these move freely and sit in the fuel like that. Taking a quick break, we gotta get the yard trimmed up. It's been raining a lot the last couple weeks, which is great because we had a bad drought, but we gotta knock this down quick while it's dry enough. I'm gonna be using the GT500 back here and we just put this three-point Farm King finish mower on it. Moses, that's fast. Really liking it. If you want to see more on the tractor or the mowers or property kind of stuff, you can go over to our other channel, Vice Grip Lodge, and see all of that stuff. So I've got the fuel tank sending unit kind of just jammed in there right now. Just hanging out, you know. Put a new rubber fuel line in on the feed line and I've got a new wire in for the sending unit ground right now and I've also got the sending unit wire hooked up so hopefully a guy can just plug in the lines on the back. I've already got the straps under the tank and I'll be able to do the hip ah, hips, hey, ha, ah, snip the bolt on but I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. I'm gonna try to get these vents on first. I guess I'm missing that chunk of hose from the other one. Hmm, I'll have to go get that off the old tank. Got this other strap just started. There we go. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Well, this is a ground wire. You can tell because it's red. Nope, it's backwards. That's okay. Wow, you little rascal. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yep. Before I let her down on the ground here, I gotta address these wheel weights. It's pretty rare that a balance on my tires, but this is gonna be a go in the town rig, so I did. 
Forgot to mention to the feller, I'm putting hubcaps on, so unfortunately, my wheel weights ended up on the outside. It's not really correct, but I'm gonna pop them off and move them to the inside of the tire. It's better than not. And that way the hubcap fits all the way on. And I think each wheel, yeah, this one's got quite a bit of weight there. I've got to do that on. So I'm gonna do that super fast and then we'll let her down, pop some fuel on this thing, fire it up and see if we got any leaks. Yep. Yeah. One of these days, a guy is gonna snag himself a wheel weight player, but they're like six bucks, so that can wait. You gotta pinch them down again. Just a tickle, okay. Where are we putting this in? Approximately here. All right, sure. Right about, beep, pop, boop, pop, boop, pop, beep. Right about there, my computer says. Yeah. Oh yeah, looks great. Nope, probably gonna fly off. Come on, you little devil. Oh, that's not so bad, I guess. Sorry for yelling at you. Squeeze the lies. Hit, tss, tss, hit, tss, tss, hit. Tss. Not too much now. Okay, over here was there, right? Beep, pop, boop, pop, boop, pop. I'm a computer. Balanced. Wow. I ain't got no juice. Going down. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Mm -hmm. It's going down. We're gonna snip about eight gallons of fresh 93 in here. And this is the first time since 1992 that I think I've intentionally bought fresh gas and put it into a can. Kind of weird, actually. Well, Bailey just jumped in. We've got, I don't know, I think I spilt two gallons. Call it six. Six and two sixteenths gallons. A few are for you Canadians, 148 liters. We're gonna fire it up and see if we got any leaks at this point. Go ahead, bring the thunder. Oh, yeah. Well, a guy and his little human you know, rooted around underneath there. We didn't see anything leaking other than the stuff that was already leaking, but that just means there's stuff in it, you know. So now I'm gonna pop some hubcaps on it, and I think we're actually gonna go take it to supper, get some tacos, you know. And if everything goes good, and everything is functioning 79% bumper to bumper in this car, I have a huge announcement for you guys you're not gonna wanna miss. Now, I just gotta find the hubcaps. Well, come on, there we go. Yep, and then it's a, it's a. break the wrist, walk away. Just cruising down some back roads right now. Car's running great. Got a fuel gauge. Not a lot of fuel though. Shows less than an eighth of a tank. This must be like a 700 gallon or something like that. But honestly, we're gonna take the long way to dinner. It's a beautiful day out. White's running fantastic. Got us down to Fiesta Loca. No issues whatsoever. Since I've driven it two or three times, I think I'm gonna go ahead and shoot her down to Ohio, Indiana, Missouri, Illinois. That's right, you're gonna be seeing us with Betty White on the Hot Rod Power Tour this year. You can come and see us. We're gonna have a meet and greet at every single location. More info on that coming soon. If you wanna see the specific venues, you can go to hotrod.com or just Google web, enter search, hot rod power tour, and that'll give you all the information. We're really excited. We wanted to do this for a long time. We're bummed we didn't get the crew cab done in time, but we just don't want to rush that truck. We want to make sure that we put it together right the first time. And I was starting to feel a little bit rushed on it. And we always talked about taking the caddy on it and you guys really like this car. So we're really happy to be doing it. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you very much. And maybe we'll see you very soon.